CataractCoach.com. A deposteroid implanted in the lens. Wait a minute. That's not quite in the vitreous cavity like you wanted, right? Tough case here. The patient was receiving an intravitreal long-acting deposteroid implant. These are sold under various names around the world. And that was supposed to go in the vitreous cavity, but as you can see, it ended up inside the crystalline lens. So obviously the patient's going to need a cataract surgery now. How would you do this case? Now, the video was sent to me already edited. I just sped it up to about three times normal speed so we can see the entire video in about five minutes. How would you do this case? I'm watching it with you for the first time. So after getting this rexus done here, the first thing I do is I pick up that implant and pull it up out of the lens and bring it up to the anterior chamber and explant it. To me, that makes the most sense. I just don't want it to fall back in the vitreous cavity. But then again, if it does fall back in the vitreous cavity, maybe that was its intended position anyway. But here, doing a little bit of hydrosection. Now, the bag is certainly compromised here. And the question is where and how and how extensive and what are you going to do about that compromise in the bag? So I like this visco dissection idea. That's a really smart idea. And I'd be very cautious about hydro dissection. And now using a chopper or a hook to kind of loosen that up, I like that idea too. Again, I'd probably take that implant out right now. Oh, phaco probe. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. So now phaco probe being placed in the eye and taking out some of the lens material. Can you phaco that implant, the steroid implant? Maybe you can. I don't think I've ever tried. I've never been in this position before. So I wanted to show you this case because it's very interesting. I've never seen this before. And so now just using the phaco probe to take down the relatively soft lens material. And there's that big steroid implant. Are we going to lift it up? I'd use that hook right now and just kind of lift it up and get it up out of the capsule bag into the anterior chamber and then pull it out of the eye. But let's see. Looks like it's getting fractured there. There's a break in the implant now, in the steroid implant. And these can be made of various materials. Oh, now it's totally broken in half. Oh, I'd get those pieces out. And looks like, I guess you can fake with them. I did not know that. So they were just fakeed with the phaco probe. I guess that's relatively easy. But again, where that defect is, is going to be a defect in the capsule where that implant was. So I like that idea of the viscoelastic to prevent the AC in the back from collapsing. Super smart idea. Again, we've kept this video anonymous. And now it looks like uh, visco dissection again with a dispersive agent. That's always a smart move. Get that cortex mobilized in all quadrants. So kind of treating this like a posterior polar case. You know, with more and more patients getting these steroid implants, as well as intravitreal injections of anti-VEGF medications and steroids, we're going to see a lot more of these. We have great videos on cataractcoach.com about how to deal with a patient who has a compromised caps or bag from an, you know, misplaced intravitreal injection. And we've got great videos from that. Even one with Professor Tom Oding from Iowa, who really does a fantastic job of giving you a framework and a guideline of dealing with those tough cases. You're going to have those cases in your clinic. Here's the viscoelastic going inside the eye. Still wondering where that capsule defect is. I suppose it's uh, somewhere kind of along that path of where the implant first was. So maybe on your screen, like the 7 o'clock position. But I don't see a big defect here. So what would you do for the lens? Here, I'd be very tempted to just put a three-piece lens, haptics in the sulcus, optic captured. I think that may be my choice here, just because I don't know the integrity of the bag. But could you put a piece, a single piece lens in the in the capsule bag? I guess you could. And I guess that surgeon is. So there's a single piece lens going in the capsule bag, getting that dialed in. And I suppose that can hold up just very nicely. Again, I don't really see where that defect was. Perhaps I'd put him some triamcinolone now also, just to make sure there isn't any vitreous prolapse in the anterior chamber or anterior segment. And so cleaning up here. Please don't worry about polishing the capsule. We'll live, we'll live with that little bit of capsular haze. That's not a big deal. And that looks pretty good. Interesting case. So again, my take would have been a little different. I would have first kind of picked up that defa the um, misplaced depot in, uh, implant and then lifted it up in the anterior chamber and ex explanted it. And then here, I like the nucleus removal. That works very well. I like the visco dissection. And I would have done a three-piece lens haptics in the, in the sulcus optic capture through the rexus. There's the triumphant at the end. There's really no vitreous prolapse. It actually turned out to be beautiful. I'm sure the patient is going to be pretty happy. And the next time, I suppose, we'll 
aim that intravitreal implant a little more posterior to avoid the crystalline lens. Interesting case. Now you know how to solve it. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it.